guys, dude, we are back on the bench and we are back with the Felony GT. So we have got a bunch of carbon fiber parts for this thing. Dude, we have got the front and rear shock towers. We've got the new top plate. We've got the stair and rack, the Ackerman plate, a new front carbon fiber diffuser, and some new carbon side skirts. These are all from Basher Queen. Dude, <clears throat> this stuff is really nice. Now, we're just going to go ahead and get all this stuff put on this here. This is very cool, man. Very nice pieces they're made out of. So, we'll go ahead, we'll get the lid taken off of this thing, and we'll just start tearing it down, getting the towers put on. I also got these new plates for the front, the air dam. So, I got rid of the aluminum ones, and these will go in there. They're from SFR. Um, pretty nice, dude. So, we're going to go ahead and use those. And once we get pieces put on, I'll show you guys from there. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the side skirts and the front splitter. And then from there, we'll go ahead and take care of the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop this lid off. We'll get this out of the way. And then, uh, as you can see, I have these side skirts on there. But these fit the stock felony body. So we went ahead with these, and these come in two different sizes. Um, I think this was a 46 uh, millimeter, and they have a bigger one than this that would stick out a lot further. But I want the body to sit low on this thing. I don't want it to sit too high, so I went with the small ones. So let's go ahead and get these off, and then we'll get this all installed. So there it is, we've got the side skirt put on. Those are very nice, dude. Very nice quality parts. So we'll go ahead and get the front put on there. Alright guys, so there it is, the bottom is complete, we've got the front and the side skirts on, and we're going to go ahead now, and uh, we'll clean this stuff up, and we will go ahead and get the towers on, and I went ahead and did the uh, the wheel well, the, um, the air dams for the front there, we got those installed, everything is looking good, so we're going to go ahead and tear into the back, we'll get all this tightened off and get this rear tower switched out. Got the old tower off, was pretty easy. Pull a few things, get it right off, and go ahead and get um we'll get it switched over and we will get that new tower on. Actually that's the tower right there. So we will go ahead and get these switched over and then get it bolted back. There it is, we have got the rear tower installed and done. Everything is back where it's supposed to go, and that's it. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the front and get all of this disassembled and get the uh, steering put on the front tower. Alright, so we've got the uh, top plate off. Um, we'll clean this up. We're going to get that removed. We've got the new one on right now. We're going to go ahead and do that um, steering rack the Ackerman bar right there. We'll get that mounted up in there and then we'll get everything put back, the tower and everything. 
and I'll show you guys when we're right. ready. Guys, there it is. I have got everything done. We have got the top plate in. Um, we have got the steering rack in there. And while I had all this apart, I went ahead and replaced these bushings with uh, some fast steady bearings that I had. So I have bearings in there now and uh, it's a lot smoother. But uh, yeah, there you go, the rack, everything, the front, the top plate, and uh, everything is in on this thing. I'm liking it, looks good. So you guys, there it is. I just gotta put this top brace back in here. And um, yeah, next is gonna be some electronics and we'll go from there, all right. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.